my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 17th of august monday of the 20th week in ordinary time today we remember saint john of the cross not john of the cross but this is john j o a n he was born on june 18th 1666 and died on august 17th 1736 in france let's listen to the gospel reading taken from matthew chapter 19 Verses 16 to 22. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him which ones and Jesus replied You shall not kill you shall not commit adultery you shall not steal you shall not bear false witness honor your father and your mother and you shall love your neighbor as yourself The young man said to him All of these I have observed what do I still lack Jesus said to him If you wish to be perfect go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven then come follow me When the young man heard this statement he went away sad for he had many possessions The gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ my dear brother and sister whether we are rich or not jesus words to this young man apply to us as well for ultimately it's not a question of how much or how little we have rather it's about priorities as jesus said where your treasure is there your heart also will be what we value gives some idea of our relationship to god do i have my possessions or do my possessions have me the issue becomes much clearer when we see that material possessions are just a small portion of our gifts no matter how wealthy we may be if we are walking with the lord we have all of the riches of his grace ephesians 1:7 we have the love of jesus the power of his holy spirit the promise of everlasting life These aren't things we can buy or sell. They are gifts that we can choose to use for His glory or to waste by keeping them all to ourselves. Of course, our gifts really do not belong to us anyway. They all come from God. And we are just stewards who have been given a temporary lease on them. that makes it all the more important for us to use them wisely and to produce lasting fruit for his kingdom it doesn't take much one small act of generosity can change an entire destiny as in the parable of the sower it's not whether we produce 30 60 or 100 fold but that we start planting the seeds god really wants to keep our lives simple when he says 
sell all you have he is not asking us to take him literally what he really wants is our hearts the more open to his grace we become the easier we will find it to be loving and generous we won't have to think so much about what to do for others because we will be too busy doing it all we have to do is say all we have to do is say here i am lord i come to do your will he will take care of the rest as a response to god's word let's pray the responsorial the responsorial comes from the book of deuteronomy chapter 32 verses 18 to 19 20 to 21 the responsorial speaks of the tragic consequences of the people's failure to be mindful of the covenant relationship with god god will not tolerate unfaithfulness without repentance the people will be held accountable for their breaking of the covenant relationship The response is you have forgotten God who gave you birth. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger toward his sons and daughters. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. I will hide my face from them, he said, and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are. sons with no loyalty in them you have forgotten god who gave you birth since they have provoked me with their no god and angered me with their vain idols i will provoke them with a no people with a foolish nation i will anger them you have forgotten god who gave you birth pray for god's blessing my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen brothers and sisters we remember all those who are celebrating their birthday today we wish you happy birthday and we pray god's choicest blessings on you especially helen de souza from kuwait margaret dimello from mumbai philip pays from bengaluru lloyd lobo from kulshekar Cecilia de Souza from Bendur Mangalore and sister Helen de Souza FSM Happy birthday to all of you dear friends God bless you We also pray for the departed soul of Richard Pinto from Nir Marga and Perpetua Pinto from Ujire May the Lord grant them eternal rest See you all tomorrow have a great week